Department of Diplomacy and International Relations at the Management Development Institute on Friday organized the public lectures on the United Nations in post-conflict recovery. The lead counsel of the Truth Reconciliation and Reparations Commission, who served as guest speaker to the event, spoke on the United Nations reforms in supporting countries in their recovery process. Mariama Cham has the rest of that story. Since 1948, the United Nations has maintained its stance against conflicts. The world's body is renowned for fostering reconciliation through peacekeeping operations so far in dozens of countries, including Cambodia, El Salvador, Guatemala, Mozambique, Namibia, and Tajikistan. To acknowledge the urge of its students in the fields of diplomacy, international relations, as well as peace and conflict studies, the Management Development Institute, MDI, presented the activities of the United Nations as the right case study for the teaching of peace building and other recovery interventions. In his lecture, Esam Bayufa, lead counsel of the Truth, Reconciliation and Reparations Commission, TRLC, explains numerous interventions by the United Nations in its efforts to bring peace to countries. You see the UN is changing. It's constantly becoming innovative in finding solutions that would help countries in their recovery process. We went to East Timor, we wrote laws, we created institutions, we trained people, and after two years, the UN was able to transfer the whole government to the East Timorese. The UN now took a back seat to become advisors and, uh, and support staff. Even therefore, to a lesser extent, uh, when I went to the ICC, I was recruited mainly to guide the Darfur investigations, to lead the Darfur investigations, and later to lead the Darfur prosecutions. And in Darfur, the Sudanese government killed 350,000 black Africans. 350,000 black Africans. At the time, the United Nations described this as the world's worst humanitarian crisis. And with various interventions, African Union and the United Nations, they were able to stabilize the situation and peace has been restored. Council Far, who spoke with case experience before the International Court of Justice, says the United Nations has supported many countries to go back to normalcy under their peace building office to recover, citing the Gambia's TRLC as an example. Up to this day, the UN is reforming itself. It has created uh, a peace building support office, the PBSO. And that is helping a lot of countries in their recovery process. Uh, the Gambia is a classic example. Post Jame, the Gambia embarked on a transitional justice program in order to transition from dictatorship to a full democracy, in order to trans transform from a rule by one man to a rule by law. We could not do that without the assistance of the UN Peace Building Support Office and the UNDP. So the TRRC that we have today came about as a result of that support. So Council Files serves as core defense counsel for a number of cases in the ICC relating to Kenya, Liberia, Libya and Philippines. Individuals he has defended include Muhammad Hussein Ali, William Ruto, Uhuru Kenyatta and Francis Mutaura. He has also served as counsel for Charles Taylor and Saif al-Islam Gaddafi. Bintu Sane, a first-year peace and conflict student at MDI, describes the open lectures as a good complement to the teaching and learning processes that is mainly confined within the four walls of the classroom. For us, this public lectures is very important today because uh, for students studying diplomacy and international relations especially, we have learned a lot from Mr. Fall's um, lectures today, especially how the world goes about, especially the UN itself. I have learned a lot and I believe everyone out there or inside the, the hall, they have also learned a lot. Yeah, and I also thank the MDI for 
coming up with this um, initiative to bring Mr. Fall to actually give us a public lecture. I believe even the university and then some tertiary institutions should um, learn from this so that students can have public lectures from experts, people that are technocrats in their specific areas. The Management Development Institute is a tertiary educational institute in the Gambia. It specializes in management training, consultancy and research. Reporting for iAfrica News, 